Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing um, Love and Hip Hop Miami Season 1 Episode 4 Fashion Victims. And before I get started, please hit the subscribe button because I also do review Catfish. I love that show. I love watching it. You know, some people say it might be scripted. I still watch it anyway because, you know, it'd be juicy. But anyways, about this episode, it wasn't really exciting enough for me, you know. I mean, there was piece, bits and pieces there, here and there, but it wasn't really that exciting. So, um, anyways, this episode takes off right as the other one left off. Gabby threw the ice cream back at Shay. And, of course, she missed, dumbass. She really missed. And, um, yeah, I'm not feeling her trying to step into this relationship. When you had the man, you could have kept him. Be honest with you, and you did. And then... Gabby came to see P or something. And then Baby Blue says basically that Pleasure P should pick between Gabby and Shay, which he really should. Um, like, just pick one. Either way, you're going to hurt somebody anyway. Who knows? Maybe neither one of you going to want something to do with you. Um, and then we see Jeffrey. This, this, I kind of like this storyline. I don't know why, but I kind of like this one right here. Between Jeffrey, Malik, and Bobby. So, um, Jeffrey goes to Malik's apartment. And, you know, um, Malik says that he loves, I think Bobby, he says, I don't know, but he says love is a big word, and he tells Malik he's in a relationship, and then Malik is just describing all the different type of gays, like gays, punks, I'm not going to say the other one, because I don't really think that's nice, and um, Jeffrey doesn't like that he used that word. Um... And then Malik goes in his little apartment and grabs out this backpack. Says he got him something special. And of course, Jeffrey's face lit up again. And then those two started making out like full on kissing. And I was like, whoa. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is going to turn out bad for somebody. And then we see Amaya. Amaya. Sorry, I can't say her name in that Latin accent. But Amara was headed was heated after the situation with Young Hollywood. And basically, Amara meets with Steph and Veronica. And Veronica says that you put us in this and we were just trying to help, help you. And basically, she goes along the lines and says that she was ungrateful. And then Amara could have did something like she could have hit her. I'm sorry, I know. She could have hit her, but she didn't. And I guess they're not friends no more. Well, we have to see. And then we see Miami Tip and Kiara and Gunplay. So Miami Tip is doing this music video for her new single at the time, What You Say Now, and Kiara's there with her big booty. I'm gonna keep saying that because that's how I can remember. But um, yeah, she's in the video, and Gunplay is surprised to see his girl in her video. And then we see Veronica and JoJo. I kind of like JoJo, I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, they're at a spinning class, and JoJo needs to get out the anger of what happened in the previous episode about her parents getting divorced. And she said, Latin Americans do not support divorce. I mean, I understand, like, who would want to get divorced? I know I wouldn't want to get divorced when I get married. But, you know, sometimes couples just don't get along. Um, then we see Trina. Now, here's the funny thing. I mean, I know they all, the whole cast can be in the episodes, like every single episode, but it seemed like the only time Trina pops up is when she's talking to Trick Daddy, like, or Bobby. Like, you never see them talking, like, by themselves. So, anyways, um, Trina wants to talk about Joy, and Trina's assistant is still going on about Bobby, just because Bobby hits you in the face or whatever, he probably deserved it. And then... Um, they talk about Trina's cousin Joy, and when he sees Joy, he thinks about the past and what happened in their past. Um, and then Trick was like, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I don't want to talk about this. So he walked away. And then Prince, Prince, the dude right here, he going to get in some trouble. Trick um, basically loses at work. And he calls up an old friend who happens to be this chick, Gabby. You know, the, the chick that Shay's having some trouble with. And she basically, she doesn't want to date or anything. She basically wants to focus on her acting career and her model career. Of course she's a model. She looked like one. And anyways, the line is called Royalty. I can honestly see these two like having sex or something. Like, can y'all see that? Or is it just me? Um, 
she do like I could see them like doing that because it seemed like there's some little chemistry going on right there. Uh, then she do her little model walk for him, and she got these little dimples. Um, then it's the next day at Liz's condo. Um, Prince came in, came home late because he was hitting up all the hot spots with Gabby. And Liz goes in saying, where were you? Blah, 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 blah. I mean, she was with this man for three years and he just mistreated her like that. Um, and Liz is pretty much done, or I think she's done. And he left his keys inside, so he had to go back inside. And Liz is throwing out clothes and she's bleaching his clothes. This is a thing, typical thing people do when they marry with other people. Um... Then we see Trick Daddy. He up there rapping in the studio. Gunplay shows up. And Gunplay tells Trick Daddy about the situation at the club. And the reason why I don't like to repeat it twice is like... I'm reviewing it. So if you miss some pieces, you can always go back and watch it. Um, if you haven't watched it. Trick Daddy says Joy look fine. And Shay meets up with Shay, Liz, and Michelle Poops. Which I still don't understand why she's on there, but okay. Um... Having some R and R. Pleasure P up and left. He went on tour with Pretty Ricky. Um, it turns out Liz and Michelle are friends. Um, Michelle didn't know about Liz's love life at the time, and when she found out, it was kind of awkward. Um, Liz mentions that Michelle and Prince are rivals. Don't know why. And Shay thinks like, I think we should go turn up at the little fashion show, and then they all agree. And then we see Jeffrey again. Um, Jeffrey is at home just doodling something and then Bobby walks in. He just got tired from doing some shopping and Bobby wants a relaxing night with his man. Bobby goes and puts the clothes away and Bobby finds the backpack. And he says that, um, be like, this is for your ex, huh? Keen eye, huh? And then Malik, not Malik. For Jeffrey says that Malik gave it to him at his work, which was a lie. Like he lying just to protect his own behind. Um, then we see Steph at a Haitian festival. Why is she on the show? Just why? But anyway, she um, invited Young Hollywood. As long as he on the show, this stuff is never going to end with Amara and Young Hollywood. Young Hollywood need to go. But um, she says he's a dope producer. And Veronica wants to know. They After she's done, they go into this little trailer. And Veronica wants to know what he's doing there. And they say they're going to work together. And then Veronica's like, wait a minute. I took up all this slack from Amara and you're working with, with him? Really? And um, they start talking crap. And JoJo's like, you know what? I'm, that's not cool to be talking about her behind her back and she walks up and leaves. That's a good choice. Um, and then Prince's fashion line, royalty, he got Chinese Nikki and Chinese Kitty. Okay, Kitty Cat. And um, all he has his livelihood, his reputation, a clothing line, all on the line. And um, basically, we see Shay. Michelle and Liz pop in. And Liz got the bag of the clothes, I think, in there. And she was going to throw them on the um, while, while the models were walking. That probably wouldn't have been a good idea. Michelle wasn't a, said it wasn't a good idea. And I say it wasn't a good idea. So then, you know, Chinese Nikki goes. And Chinese Kitty. And this other chick. And then you see Gabby. And they were like, that's mint chocolate, Shay says. I don't know why she called it mint chocolate, but whatever. And then after the um, show is over, um, Prince says, oh, this is Gabby. And then they figured it out. And then a whole lot of brawl, had, well, not brawl, but a fight. And then Chinese Nikki's like, why don't you come for me, not my daughter? You know, being a little protective. And then Gabby threw a drink, and that was pretty much that. So, um, yeah, this episode was I. It was... Not that exciting. I miss Bad Girls Club. I really do. But I wanted to try to finish reviewing something like the whole way through. So if this, if this season doesn't get any better, then I won't be reviewing it again. So come back to my channel on Wednesday or Thursday. And the Catfish Review will be up. 
Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!